Hi everyone, welcome back to a new video. So in this video, we are going to discuss about what is a Microsoft Explorer program, what are its eligibility criteria, how is it going to be an interview experience and what are the perks and benefits and how one should be preparing it. So you might be uh, also aware of our, like uh, what was uh, like a Microsoft uh, Engage program which was uh, started by Microsoft only and uh, it was like uh, much of a trendy and uh, like a uh, popular during uh, like last uh, previous like three or four year ago like when I was like in the uh, first or second year and like I also got chance but unfortunately uh, I'll tell you like uh, in the upcoming uh, means in the upcoming part of uh, this video that what was like uh, original situation so my name is Ars Patel and I have also like a pass out of a VIT 24 batch and I have been also consecutive like branch topper for the four years so this was like a all about like amazing journey and currently I'm working uh, as a SD1 in a make my trip so this was like all about me now let's look about like what is this a uh, Microsoft Explorer program. So as you look can look on screen uh, Microsoft uh, Explorer program. So which is a 12 week of an uh, internship program for the second year and a uh, final year student. So it's a rotational internship. So you can work on uh, like a software development part or a program uh, management side or product. So here you would be working in a pairs like uh, with uh, two of our interns who would be working together or uh, individual also you can be contributing towards like project or any of our tax like whatever you have been assigned into the organization it's a beginner friendly so no need to worry about like uh, technology and tech stuff that i did i am not aware about like this tech or something uh, you while uh, working on that uh, specific task you can learn it and contribute there so it's a beginner uh, friendly so no need to worry so it was like initially started uh, in US and now like uh, it's uh, there in uh, India also so you can like uh, get into it and before moving further you need to subscribe to the channel otherwise you have been uh, missing out a lot many of our amazing like uh, college opportunity so now let's look about like eligibility criteria and uh, what would be the application process so if you are in the second year or third year uh, of a uh, from a BTEC, BE or uh, any of a dual degree program or integrated MTech will be working here. Uh, you can be in uh, any of a computer science, information technology or CSC specialization or EC branch then also will be working it. Now, how you need to apply? Uh, this is uh, like you can apply through a career uh, portal of a uh, Microsoft, which would be uh, like openings would be there in August to September. Uh, and uh, you can like uh, also tell your college like placement cell to mail to the recruiters of uh, Microsoft and uh, uh, apply there via there and uh, complete like all the hiring process and then you can be there get into it. Uh, you can also get through a LinkedIn uh, referrals or you can like uh, connect with the recruiter and then uh, uh, ask them and uh, complete like all the hiring process so make sure that you have like on uh, alerts about like microsoft recruiter and also make sure that you uh join a telegram uh, group uh, where uh, you will be getting all the recruitments and hiring and uh, amazing like internship and uh, hackathons like uh, what are the things have been there all the openings would be uh, uh you would be like uh, aware about it so you can join a telegram group uh, it's there and uh link in a video's description now let's look about like what we would be your interview process so first thing first would be your online assessment which would be 60 to 90 min minutes and uh, would be a easy to medium level here the platform could be a credibility ssl or hacker and depends on them and what would be like topic of a dsa question would be array string health map and basic of our dsa so you can also prepare a core subjects and a few of our basics of aptitude would can be also asked here then once you get us uh, uh what you call qualify for the next round so here uh technical round will be there yeah like uh, one or two uh, dsa coding round question can be asked and a uh, basic of a cs fundamental and uh, here like major of thing would be focused that is your uh, how well you are able to solve any of a problem and what like approach you have been following them so if you qualify this uh, technical round then third round will be your like a behavior or teamwork round and yeah like basic of about like project discussion will be there teamwork question will be there situation type of question will be there and uh uh, communication how well you are able to communicate and collaboration type of question are with them and like a top of uh, hr questions and like basic of uh, that question would be asked so if you need a uh, like a top of uh, hr question which are been asked in a top of an mnc then uh, you can download uh, from a uh, video description i have been at a link and uh, you can get and uh, revise and go for the your interview process now 
let's look about like few of our preparation tips so here like a dsa practice is a must and you should be like a good at like array string linked list queues and uh, all like a core concept about like your any of our like a programming language yeah like you need to have good uh, communication skills so for improving your communication skill uh, have a mock interview so mock interview you can have with me also or else you can uh, have a mock interview with your immediate seniors of our college so if you want to uh, have a mock interview with me you can connect me on a top mate and uh, we can like uh, have a call and like have a proper like mock interview and uh, We'll be giving you suggestions and feedback and all the interview preparation tips and everything. So it's a link uh, is a given in a video's description. Then resume is also much of an important. So have a resume review and uh, make sure that your in your resume, like all the projects have been there, all the collaborations and like best of all things should be there and a good uh, ATS friendly and a proper resume template should be there. And also like uh, have an understanding about like Microsoft or what are the values have been there such as growth mindset inclusion and other like values have been there so once a revise from a Microsoft website and uh, try to go For so now coming to the other part that was like few of a myth so you need a 9.5 CGPA then only like you would be able to get a shortlisted and go for the complete like hiring process no you don't need but you should be good of an enough of a CGPA like 7.5 plus or 8 or 8.5 or 9 it's like a best of work case and uh, other like uh, you shouldn't like uh, other myth is that like uh, you should be knowing like all of our file languages or like all of our programming language no need to worry about that you can have any of a one of a uh, programming language and then you can just go and learn uh, it like uh, further so now few of our tips like uh, start early your preparation as much as early uh, you can and also like build a good enough for, for quality of and uh, small project or big project but your project should be like uh, good enough that uh, it spark uh what you got some innovation in your project and something like that and also like don't compare with other like uh, that guy or like that uh, girl like uh like they started like a preparation like, too early and i have like two back and like had solved like this many of our questions and i haven't solved any of our question so just like uh, don't compare yourself with others just focus on your learnings and how well you can learn so if you need uh, any of our like a uh, placement preparation tips or like interview preparation tips and like uh, mock interview practice how you need to build your resume uh, my like a uh, core subjects about like uh, how did i prepare and what was like my material top interview questions and everything which have been prepared by me if you need that a uh, complete package then you can uh, also like uh, get it from a top mate and uh, it's a uh, available uh, 50 percent discount for you guys who are watching this video and it's only for the first type like, five of people so make sure that you uh get and uh, will uh, have a like a good uh, placement uh, and uh, internship preparation and uh, we'll be helping you out to get the best of a placement opportunities so this was like few of our tips now major of things come that is like a perks and benefit like what all the perks and benefit you will be getting it first thing would be your stipend which you will be getting a monthly base can be like uh, 80,000 to 1 lakh or it can now like uh, Microsoft have increases like to 1 lakh 25,000 or 1 lakh 50,000 but I guess for Microsoft for Expo means uh, like for the second year of internship they would be providing like 80 to like 1 lakh 50 depends like uh, on the like pay scale and like what they wanted to pay and initially like you will also getting one week uh, for free of an uh, accommodation or housing allowance free foods free uh like uh, food uh would be there swags welcome kid you would be also getting uh, like a dedicated mentors and buddy in in the organization because like, initially you need uh, some help for the onboarding process and like when you're uh, if you are assigned like any for tax you might get stuck uh, for the sum of a thing so they would be uh, there to help you out and uh, yeah, like uh, you'll be working on a good of a real like amazing of a projects and uh, have a networking with uh, different different people in your organization they have a great learning one of a major question was that like we'll be getting a ppo chance or not so for there will be no direct like ppo chance from uh, this expert program but if you like a uh, perform like top of uh, performance in your or this expert program then you will be getting a chance for the next year sd in internship there and once if you like perform well in the sd internship which is uh, like a um, final year like a uh, internship program for the six months and if you perform well then there is a ppo chance now like uh, i had like a uh, contact with uh, one of our uh, guy like uh, he also like uh, went uh, through this microsoft uh, explore program did uh, 
and like he was a performing well got sd in dutch and got a ppo so this is like a amazing opportunity and uh, just grab it and as you know the microsoft is an amazing of an uh, company to work there and uh, and make sure that you hit the like button and also like comment like what uh, next video you would be liking to watch and uh, if you're watching this video till end then make sure that you comment like i watched the video till end uh that's uh, all the information about microsoft excel program you can check out like what is the sd2 package about like google and uh, you can also watch out like what will be the ultimate placement role for the college student and uh, if you ever wanted to uh, crack a top of an uh, amazing placement opportunity so that's pretty much see you in the upcoming video